Hi, now we are discussing on previous year solved problem of CSIR December 2017 Chemical Sciences. Just look at the given problem. The correct statement about the difference of second and first excited state energies delta E of a particle 1D, 2D square and 3D cubic boxes with same length for each is. Okay, right. We have given with option A delta E one dimensional box equals to delta E, two dimensional box equals to delta E, 3D box. Next option B, delta E, 1D box greater than delta E of 2D box which is greater than delta E of 3D box. Option C, delta E, 1D box is greater than delta E, 2D box of uh, which is equals to delta E of 3D box. Option D, delta E, 1D box is less than delta E, 2D box which is less than delta E, 3D box. Okay, first understand the given problem and then try to give the answer. Now we hear the difference of second and first excited state energies of a particles we need to consider in 1D, 2D and 3D cubic boxes. And here they are all having same length. Okay, now consider one dimensional box here. For one dimensional box, the energies in different energy levels that is n n energy levels e n equals to n square into h square by 8 m l square okay so here all these should be constant because length is also same in all the three bomb three boxes so 1d 2d 3d okay so that's why here we need to consider n only okay to give the answer for this problem now whenever n is equal to 1 the ground state energy we consider it as ground state okay for ground state whenever it is n is equal to 1 n square that is simply 1 square now whenever it is n is equal to 2 we consider it as first excited state then 2 square now n is equal to 3 it is second excited state so that is here 3 square now according to the given problem we need to take or we need to consider the difference of second and first excited state energies so here 3 square minus 2 square simply 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 from this the difference of energies from second and first excited states e 3 to 2 equals to 5 h square by 8 m l square okay next consider 2d box for the 2d box we have the formula e n the energies of a different n energy levels equals to h square by 8 m l square into n x square plus n y square okay so the energy levels uh, with respect to coordinates x and y here in 2d box now whenever we consider n is equal to 1 it is ground state for ground state in 2d box we have uh, uh, two uh, degeneracy possibilities so if for nx and ny here that is simply nx is equal to 1 and ny is equal to 1 okay so that means simply only one degeneracy possibility there for uh, here uh, whenever n is equal to 1 okay now whenever n is equal to we consider it as first excited state then here two possible possible arrangements of particles are there they are two in x and one in y or one in nx or two in ny okay that means two possibilities are there now whenever it is n is equal to 3 it is second excited state in the 2d box here only one possibility of arrangement is there 2 2 okay that is in nx is equal to and ny is equal to now we need to consider second the difference of second and energy state to first exit state then 2 square plus 2 square and 2 square plus 1 square that is 8 minus 5 equals to 3 okay right from this the energy difference of uh, energy levels 3 to 2 are in a 2d box equals to 3 h square by 8 ml square okay right next consider 3d box in 3d box uh, the energy en is equal to h square by 8 ml square into n x square plus n y square plus n z square okay because with respect to three coordinates x y and z hence it is 3d okay three dimensional now whenever it is n is equal to 1 it is ground state for ground state we have one possible uh, arrangement of particles okay so in one degeneracy level so that is one 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 next in uh, 
n is equal to that is first exited state in that condition it is it is having three possible of arrangement of particle so three degeneracy levels here 2 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 2 okay whenever it is n is equal to 3 that is second exited state for that here also three degeneracy uh, uh, possibilities or arrangement of particle in three ways is there so 2 2 1 2 1 2 and 1 2 1 okay and here all these conditions the lengths are same so that's why we can we can take any one of it okay right so 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square producing 9 and 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square producing 6 now according to the given problem we need to take the difference of uh, of second exit state to first exit state now 9 minus 6 it, re it is resulting 3 that is the energy uh, difference uh, from second exit state to first as uh, uh, first exit state in 3d box equals to 3h square by 8 ml square okay so that is uh, from this for one dimensional box is equal 5 square by 8 ml square two dimensional box is equal 3h square by 8 ml square and 3d box equals to 3h square by 8 ml square that means uh, 2d box and 3d box are equal having equal energy differences whereas 1d box is having greater energy differences of second uh, energy state to first energy state okay first energy level right thank you